Aya amayuko NPP mwa na ushe mpeni fua umati mi efri aya amayuko dimu na umbaye mapeni ewo amai mu dia o kase dio obon humo dempa uti mi ejani na so aya juma dini ede ebu aye ema mai ni etu mpeni dia na ya ankane gana mapeni yero aji kufuom na wadi se mui etu ya wabra na papa udi fisha edu watche na mui na kabu mwa umo soko bwa ye ema aya ni bende no aya songo. Na wachi ewe ye bro nya bosu ni de to so ngwachi e na kane ma mpenyini ama apaba o sabere ma jone je kumkufu enye finchi edu wachi na woda no ase e na ma mpenyini na na adodan kwa kufu adu kasabo na baso chiri muse we yi obi awabo apa apeja dan kwa buzi adombo tradition no ni tiri mpo esu na mpp ama yiko ejina sesi ye ya omu edibu omainu wasu wanche ma sebi owu emefa no ansan wabu ni dinya kase we yi obi oyu kunini na na adodan kwa kufu adu chiri muse john kufi aje kumkufu e yi be a wabua edin putu juma bebre abba ebi ene apomudinsi echi ba enkodo omukosku mi enu edu anemu omudi kwa ni nada eye nkaya edi ebe kai ne pa ever since i met him as an 18 year old young man 56 years ago at oxford i called him kofi diwo until that fateful day of 7th january 2001 when he took the oath of office as the second president of the fourth republic and became and remained for me, Mr. P. We were both active in the early 1990s in the meetings that took place at the East Cantonment's home of that excellent colleague, the late, much lamented Stephen Kreku, which led to the birth of the MPP. A true child of the Dankwa Domo Buzia political tradition, which the MPP embodies, his period in office after earlier unsuccessful attempts as President of the Republic, gave the Ghanaian people the first full view of the tradition in operation. I was privileged to have served in his government, firstly as Attorney General and secondly as Foreign Minister. The occupancy of both offices definitely helping to prepare me for my present assignment. I'm grateful to him for that. Let me then ask you, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to raise your glasses, to toast the health, long life, and prosperity of the second president of the Fourth Republic, His Excellency John Ajakum Kufo. Mr. P, happy birthday. <laughs> hip, hip, hip! ama peinda da ko fonso kasano chiri musa gana sia yo man no ye ni akwanya bia sia man pe ni fo ma be di yeso pen no ene wono mu di yeso eni ni e beteti o ma na ase ye mbu wo mu ye mfa bo ni ni die ma wono nyakopon e be shira ye today the love and honor that have been poured on me all over sort of shook me and made me reflect uh, to say to myself Perhaps, after all, you've done something good. Otherwise, all these people wouldn't come and treat you the way they are treating you. And to crown it all, we are here tonight. Just look at the, this august gathering in this beautiful milieu on the invitation of the President of the Republic and his dear wife, and I would say his entire government, to come so you celebrate me on my 80th birthday. Uh, naturally, towards retirement, a person should look towards some benefits, whether it's extra share, <laughs> or whatever bonus. But I tell you, what I'm experiencing today, and especially tonight, I would say is a real icing on the cake. It's the tops of honor. This is how we should learn to treat our leaders, both sitting and past. And what the president has done tonight, I believe is a, a, a lesson. A lesson that should not be lost to us. And I want to thank Mr. President profusely for this love you've shown today. And I pray that uh, you continue to be gracious to all of us. And in turn, we will pray for you.
So you, you do, you, you carry the burden of all of us. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. Into retirement, I'm going to reminisce and enjoy such uh, occasions as you've given me tonight. God bless you and God bless Ghana. Thank you very much. I was trying to fall yet to our